If Shogun wasn't my favorite boss, this one definitely is. The two are pretty close. Um, again, this is might be because of the Landmaster, and I, I just this entire level though is probably my second favorite level in the game, to next to Area Six. Um, but I really like this fight. I like the fact that you can. You know, do the switchy thing. I, I don't do it in this video because I, you know, you're not really fighting at that point. But I do like the fact that it's available. I don't like the fact that I roll into things all the time. And those iron pillars are really annoying. Um, I mean, it's even worth putting up with his, you know, like his like Confederate Colonel accent. I mean, you know, step on my gas. <laughs> What's wrong? come a little closer. I'm doing a really bad job, but I can acknowledge that I'm doing a bad job. This is probably one of the lengthier boss fights in the game, just because it's hard to aim the goddamn Landmaster. Because unlike the Arrowing, which points the direction you face it, unless you're near the edge of the screen and it nudges you forward, the Landmaster constantly wants to point in exactly one spot. And you can't make it go anywhere else. If you, if you push down, it just keeps going down. So it's not possible to push down a little ways and then stop because then it'll just go back the way it is. Same thing with with aiming, you know, with aiming up. The the barrel only moves while you're pushing it. And as soon as you stop pushing it, it, you know, resets to its normal place. So it's very it's very annoying to aim, to say the least. It's annoying at best and difficult and at worst. I don't know if that's intentional or what. Apparently, if you take too long in this fight, um, you re they reach a point where the where the driver slams the train into you, and it says laughs at you for being too slow, and slams the train into you, which kills you instantly. I've never seen that because I've never I've always either died or killed him before that happened. But I, so I don't I don't have that in the recording of the special scenes. I wanted to, once I found out about it, I wanted to, but it was too late. And then we move on to Bakun, which is one one of my least favorite bosses. It's just it's just a boring boss fight, really. It hardly ever hits you, and it's just tedious waiting for it to open itself up. Also, it's just a giant clam. I don't feel threatened by a giant clam. It's just not threatening at all. And it's dark. I mean, you can't even see the goddamn thing because it's dark. But the entire level's dark, so, you know, I don't know what else to say. I take it back. Sometimes the pearls will hit you if you're stupid. And I believe I am in this video. I believe I fly into one of these pearls. But I mean, it's just, it's just really dumb. It's, I, the, the boss is just really boring and really annoying. Especially because it's, the, the way the, the homing, tor the homing torpedoes are finicky and lock onto whatever you happen to be pointing at at any given, you know, point in time. So if you point at something, fire a torpedo, then move to point at something else, the torpedo changes trajectory to aim at the new thing. Which is really annoying sometimes. I mean, sometimes it's cool, but most of the time it's just really annoying. Also, I think that was bullshit that I didn't get that. But I mean, it's it's just it's just a boring fight. I don't really know what else to add to that other than it's just lame. I mean, and at this point, I mean, and once you get to this point, you pretty much just tap fire. Like the stuff will fly right in front of your lasers, get broke, so you don't get hit. You know, and he just just keeps getting shot. So it, it's it's also an incredibly easy fight, even by Star Fox standards. It's just needlessly time-consuming. I mean, it doesn't take... Okay, okay. I guess not everything flies in front of your lasers, as you can see, but like 90% of them do. Occasionally, you'll get hit by one. If you don't, you know, take any effort to avoid it. I mean, it, it's not that time-consuming to get, it, but it's, it's a lot more time-consuming than it should be. 
Also, why the fuck did it explode? I don't get that. I really hope I didn't. Okay, good. This guy is only entertaining because he's a pirate. Arr. And also, he is the only boss where you use bombs exclusively on. Well, no, you use you use um. I guess you use lasers at the very end. But the vast majority of this boss fight is just bombs up the wazoo, which it makes it a little tricky sometimes because it's really it's really tricky to aim, especially at the, those those snorkels. You have to aim at the the perfect spot. And unlike laser fire, where you can like do like a blanket thing, where you can shoot and then like swing your nose left and right to just kind of cover the area, like I'm doing right now, a bomb you can't do that. You have to kind of hit what you're aiming for with the bomb. And you can't lock on to bosses, so it, it, it can be it can be difficult to do sometimes, depending on how lucky I'm, I'm with the with the bombs at the time. This is another boss that, um, there's not many bosses that will actually kill me, but this one will on occasion. Uh, Mechbeth will if I don't flip the switches sometimes. This one does occasionally, as you saw in one of my other videos. Um, I really think that's it. Oh, Volcane will sometimes too. But that's more with the lava than the boss, so but I gotta give this guy credit for that. Is that he's one of the few that can kill me. Uh, this is another one that I'm not sure if qualifies as a boss, but it felt like a boss thing here with the missiles. So, but once again, this this demonstrates the variety because this is something totally different from the other ones. You know, I mean, it, I guess it's similar to bulls in that you have the ships flying around and one objective that needs to be shot, but the difference is that this, obje this objective moves and comes at you. I don't know how many missiles you can. Uh, the Great Fox can take before it dies. I don't think any of them, but I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've let the Great Fox get hit. That being said, this is one of the few levels where your teammates actually fucking do something. Falco, as you see, does in fact shoot missiles down, and he will do it by himself. You know, even if you don't, you know, he will do, he, he won't completely shoot it down, but he'll do a pretty good job of it if there's nothing on his tail. I mean, you do have to help him out, because otherwise, what would the point of you playing the game be if they would do it by themselves? But he does come pretty damn close. And somewhere up in here comes Cat, if you go through Zonus. And she, I believe, will take out a missile completely on her own. I think she shows up in the last wave. And she will take out a missile, just solo it. Like... And, and will kill it before it gets to, uh... The Great Fox. But as you can see, Falco do, does some pretty good damage on the missile. Um, and you will see in the final wave that you really only have to deal with one missile there. And here comes Cat. Because, why not? I love how Falco gets all angry about it. But of course Falco gets angry about it. Because Falco's a dick. An arrogant dick, no less. But still a dick. The only annoying part about all this is that you have to is that you have to keep people off your back er, off your teammates' backs. This is another one of those levels you have to do that. But as you'll see here, they do a pretty effective job at destroying things. But I think that's because at this point I had like three people helping me. I mean, you can see Peppy's out there. Cat takes care of one of the missiles all by herself, basically. And then Falco comes in. I think even Slippy shows up at the end here, because I, I took care of most of the... Uh... See, they took care of those two pretty much by themselves. And then Peppy finishes it off. Um, so, yeah, I mean, really, they do a good job of it, which is amazing. And then here's the boss for Area 6, which is Gorgon as you could tell by the spl splash screen. Um, this one is another one that was pretty difficult, especially the first time I went through, because I guess the main thing is those damn energy bowl. Those things, are, those things are fucking difficult to hit sometimes. Because the camera zooms in, so, it, it, so you have the game's tendency to push you one way or the other, then the balls are spinning around and they change direction later on. The tentacles are also kind of hard to hit, because you have to hit like right in the middle of the hand. But 
overall, it's not it's not too bad. But once you once you beat him a few times, he's pretty easy. Except for what does he do? Except that the planet killer beam sometimes is dangerous, but mostly if you're not retarded like I am sometimes, you don't need to worry about it. Also, these missiles suck. But, um, I, I do like this. This boss reminds me of something. I can't think of what. It's some toy I had as a kid. Like, the, the teeth on the inside of the thing remind me of that. It's like, um... I want to say it was attack packs, I think, what they were called. They were like... They were kind of like vaguely like Transformers and that they were cars, but you they had like little things on the back of them that you like pushed down and they let, and their front ends opened up into mouths and stuff. They were like Transformers except instead of transforming from vehicle to uh robot, they were in constantly in a hybrid state of vehicle with animalistic mouth. Or or, you know, pincers sometimes or whatever. Also, I l I'm I love the purple rainbow. Or the purple rainbow derp. The planet killer rainbow of death, because you know it's it's just the most threatening thing you could ever think of would be a rainbow. But it's just it's kind of this guy's kind of disheartening because it takes so long to even make any real damage in his health bar, and you have such a narrow window of opportunity when he opens up too, which is another real annoying thing about him. I mean, like you saw you saw I was firing pretty much nonstop, but to get the hit to hit plus 10, I need to destroy him completely in that t in that window that I've got there. Also, apparently the ships fuck you up if they hit you. I never realized that until this fight when I got accidentally got winged by a ship and then I lost my wing. But I think I lost them both. I don't know, I can't tell. Yeah, I did lose them both. And I have another planet killer beam. Because this guy's a jerk. I taste the rainbow a few times. Taste the rainbow. And then we pew him down. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. See when they switch, see they go really fast, and then they switch. Because this guy is a dickhole. So this part's really tricksy to do. This last part. It's hard to chase after those frickin' things. Anyway. Hit plus two, yeah, see I did pretty bad on that one. And then he blows up and everyone's happy.